Hello, ladies and gentlemen, LMG here, and welcome to our review of Atelier Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End, and The Secret Key. And Barrel, that's right, I'm actually bringing you some footage of one and two really quickly, because I want to show off some graphical differences, uh, menus, fighting, etc. And this one, they say Barrel, because that's a tradition in the Atelier series for ever since I've almost been a kid, uh, for quite a long time. It is not in Atelier Ryza 3. The game is, I'm just kidding, but it's literally unplayable without that. I am quite a way into that at the time of the review. And not one barrel. Not one. Oh, it's a travesty. Uh, but I just want to show off because really out of the three, I do think, uh, after playing through all three, uh, the first one is still the best. Uh, graphically, uh, combat-wise, I would have to give it up to three. And it's also got some new mechanics as well. Uh, that really shine. But yeah, graphically, the town feels a little, because you go back to uh, the island again, it's a little more flushed out. There were a lot more NPCs. There was a lot more, well, you're getting to know everybody. And now it's more random NPCs and side quests, etc. But now we're getting into two now. I just want to show you a little bit of difference. Um, they did say they were toning down the fan service uh, in three. And I didn't think the game ever had a ton, but we all realized Atelier Reza 1 uh, did sell a million copies. The most Atelier game has ever sold. And we, we all know the reason why it sold, and that's okay. It is actually quite a great story as well. Yeah, Gust, I'm really trying to make... Uh, I can actually really tell in 3 that it is a, lot to, a little bit toned down, a little bit more conservative. Not a huge deal, but if that's something you're noticing, it, it really is uh, noticeable. If you just hop in and out of the games real quick. But not a, not a deal breaker or anything. Uh, I do definitely get it. Uh, but also, yeah, Atelier Rise is doing so well, getting its own anime, and we haven't had an Atelier anime since Eska and Laji uh, come out to the West, and Eska and Laji, man, that was a great anime, uh, it truly was. But sure enough, the comp 2 was probably my least favorite of the UI combat. I just, I wasn't a big fan of the UI. This is actually me derping because I hadn't remembered how to do this a little bit. I loaded an earlier save just to show off. Some of the beginning stuff. Yeah, but the combat, as we're going to see, really shows off in 3. And this will actually be the final one of this series. And Atelier Rise, it did so well that it actually got a lot of the other Atelier series brought over to Steam. You can check them out. Uh, quite a bit of the games have been ported over. And they're even remaking the original, which has never been in the West. That is coming out uh, this summer. Yeah, the music. Tiles are everybody in the, in the thing is a little bit older. And all right, ladies and gentlemen, now we're in three, which I do because I kept hopping between the first and the and the, the third one. I swear this atelier is a little bit smaller, which is very weird. This is where Frederica, one of the other characters. I'm gonna try not to do to any spoilers if I can. I think most of my footage I don't have uh, anything really quest related. We were running into some side stuff, just there's a lot of reminiscing uh, in the very earlier part of the game. Yeah, it's a little bit of an earlier uh, in my playtime. Uh, there is a lot of reminiscing because you go all these areas you've been before. A lot of dialogue, some cutscenes. Uh, quite a bit of good story, quite a good story. New regions as well. As you can see here from the uh, uh, synthesis screen, uh, a little bit high, uh, nicer now. It has been uh, flared up a little bit, along with the secret key. Uh, all the other components, super traits now as well. Uh, yeah, alchemy, quite a bit of fun. Uh, they did, and the, the first Atelier Rise, they did have alchemy level. But in the second one, now they just have you getting SP. Uh, and a lot of cool, like, these side quests and other stuff do as well. Uh, the, yeah, the, I feel like the UI and the questing and all that, it's got a little, t uh, toned down. It's not quite as, it doesn't have much of a flair, but it does get the job done. Uh, so yeah, the school tree, not as, it's about the same as two, not as flashy as one, but yeah, not bad, it does get the job done. And you do learn some other st uh, recipes from quests, uh, talking to some other people, etc. But majority of it here, really done in this one. And SP comes by fairly quickly, because a lot of side quests, and oh, there's a lot of side quests. 
it's a lot of randomly, I would almost say generated stuff that just pops up quite frequently. That's why this game, it can take about 30 hours to get through the main line, uh, but 60 to get everything. And it's going to take a little longer because these quests pop up quite a get bit. And then as we're talking the keys, uh, you have a bunch of tools. Now we've actually got a really, uh, those wing shoes actually now slide a bit on ground and is really, really fun. You can carry quite a bit of keys. I don't know if there's a limit on that one. But you can only use the, the, the hollow key you use to make keys. You can only do five of those uh, at a time. So you have to go back to the Atelier to uh, re-get that. And the only time I make things, we get a lot of cutscenes in here. A lot of explaining why we don't have all the items we had in the first two games. Which is kind of always hilarious. But not really a, any aging up. Only big difference, I do believe, is Lent. Lent has grown up uh, quite a bit. I think Atelier, yeah, just get this outfit spin uh, overall a little toned down. I find this is actually the final one in this series as well, which is a little sad, but I, I think it is uh, three games is pretty good. Generally, they don't get more than two. A character doesn't get more than two, if that. So, three, pretty good. Uh, very nice. Yeah, I do like the alchemy quite a bit. Do you do all spend a lot of time in that? And let's pop outside here in just a second. And I do enjoy the alchemy quite a bit, but that's only one part of the game. And you will have to start. You don't get the ref uh, the uh, furnace and getting that equipment right away, too. You have to unlock everything once again. You do start out at level 20. Uh, leveling up is fairly quickly. The mile, so yeah, you can actually climb up stuff now. And you can also small ledges. Though, not always clear the ledge if you can or not. It's, that's a little weird. You basically alchemy tools as well. You can do some things a couple different ways to get to different materials, too. Yeah, it's still a crime that they don't have barrel in here. Also, animals. You can't pet the dog. You can pet the cat. There's, they're both about... All the cats and the pets are the same. And there's some wildlife out here as well uh, that will lead you spaces. Uh, they're kind of glimmering and shimmering, and if you follow them, you yeah, actually can summon, uh, I do believe that is Fee, all grown up now. But yeah, just a lot of times, walking around, we get cutscenes, nice bit of dialogue. Some of these ones aren't, uh, don't have uh, the uh, voice lines for it, but still pretty good. A majority of the game is still uh, voice acted. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it, they, they have nothing going on there, just friends, by the way. But also talk about the audio. The soundtrack is killer. Uh, they will have actually, because I think you get that in the season pass. Uh, they will include all that Gust uh, BGM music in a pack that you can change it. But yeah, you got to pay once again. I love Koei Tecmo, but Koei Tecmo loves money. They do quite a bit. And we also get a little bit of dialogue. Uh, quite a bit when you're going along this combat dialogue. Yeah, there's all the mechanics as well, because also we'll see a little bit later on. Uh, we get a dolphin. There's also, you can get various other animals as well, not just this one. So there is quite a bit to do. A lot of this in this region. There's a, a ton of regions and the new islands as well. We got a little bit of, because you will have a lot come up, and I, I would almost say to ignore these after a while, because they'll make you crazy. But there's a lot of side quests, that random side quests that will keep popping up. Uh, for little small rewards. Basically, kill enemy. Do you want to trade this amount of item for this item? That's maybe one of my one complaint about the combat in this. I love it. It's much more faster paced. It's quite a bit of fun. Especially when you unlock the keys and the key creations and key modifications. The combat is quite good. One complaint is I cannot defend. Uh, sometimes I will get attacked from enemies that are on the side. I can't see them. And I can't block it. Not a big deal. It hasn't really cost me a, a life or anything. And you don't die in this game. If you do die, you go back to the Atelier and you lose a couple items you were collecting. It's not a big deal at the end of the day. And the majority of the combat, you can just run away. It also has difficulty settings as well. If you really want to crank it up. There are some bosses in 1 and 2... Uh, optional side bosses that were pretty incredible. They were they were no joke. 
But the majority of the combat is pretty easy. Although it has the weird thing, though, you can heal uh, during battle if you have healing items, the core items. But I, as far as I can tell, I think this is the same way in 1 and 2, you can't heal outside of combat unless you go back to the atelier. Or the city, I believe. That was some bad blocking on my part. But you'll get a lot of these random quest ones. That you defeat three sets of enemies. You get a reward. It's also the same. Party members have these quests. They want to defeat certain enemies as well. There's a lot of side stuff. What I'm really going complain about the side stuff, though, is a lot of the uh, NPCs are the same exact same NPC. I had two of the exact same NPC pop up with a random quest uh, pretty close to each other. So that's a little immersion breaking, but not at the end of the day. So I think that was an item boost uh, key for that. And here we've unlocked, so it takes a little bit longer for you had that boost time, because otherwise initially the boost time usage was pretty fast. So now there we get some Forest Sage. Uh, after a while, I would probably skip some of that and just keep on the main quest. But there is a lot to explore. I can definitely see taking more than 60 hours in this one. All right, popping a little head to show up a different footage. Those wing shoes, quite a bit of fun. If you if you kind of look at downwards, anywhere you're downward slope, you can slide quite a bit. You can even do it in town. Uh, this is showing off one of the keys to open these. They got these little caches everywhere. It does consume a use of the key, but you you will never run out of keys. Quite a bit. I just wanted to show off another part of the island. Yeah, there is a lot of places to explore. Uh, and the ma I think the uh, full screen, the mini map's okay, but the full screen map could be a little bit uh, better detailed. But it's not a you know big. It's, it it is works well enough. But overall, I really am a big fan of the combat. Uh, the stories, I'm not going to go into it, uh, but it's quite good. It's quite good. Uh, predictable for the most part. No big dips, betrayals, or anything like that. And here's some more of the random quests, because the random quests don't stop. And this guy lost something in the water. I read this one because you also you get a dolphin. You can find dolphins to ride around in. It, it, it's crazy. We're all graphically. Uh, some areas, I think there were... Uh, a little bit of downgrades, a little bit maybe change in our style. And hey, you can actually go swimming now. She can just keep breathing. I I don't know how that works, uh, but I guess it's airdrop, so it works. But there's a little bit of swimming, get some materials. Yeah, very nice. But overall, I've had a really really great time in it. And if you're the fan of the series, I would recommend. And if you're just picking us up now, I would at least recommend. There's a prologue movie where it kind of explains what's going on in one and two. I mean, if you just completely ignored this, you might be able to... And we've got a... Ooh, we've got a magical turtle. All right. You could probably get away with it, but you're not going to, I would feel, really enjoy the first two. Because I think they're actually on the Steam sale right now. Uh, ending in a little while. But yeah, I think it is on sale. I would definitely recommend picking up the first two. Uh, you don't necessarily need the DLC, but... Uh, the base games itself, I think it definitely is worth it. Uh, but overall, ladies and gentlemen, I would give this one my final score. And I haven't quite finished it yet. I'm, I'm fairly close, though. Uh, but I would give it 8 out of 10. Uh, just some of the combat could be a little bit. There's a clunkiness like I can't see sometimes uh, enemies on the side. The camera angle is just a little too zoomed in. Uh, there's a little bit of repeating uh, these random quests. And a lot of the NPCs are kind of the same. And no barrel. I mean, that's just unforgivable. Uh, but overall, yeah, I've had a really good time. It is not as uh, good, I think, as one. But I would almost say uh, on equal par to two. I Maybe just a slightly bit better because there's some updated uh, mechanics. But overall, ladies and gentlemen, I would give it a hearty recommendation if you're a fan of the Atelier series. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Check it out. I'll be streaming this as well, so go check that out on Twitch. I'll try to get the VOD up if I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure hit that like button. It does help out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.